Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, last week, well, we did rally quite significantly, and then we basically broke down all the way down to support down here at the 40 exponential moving average at 1383. If you look at the technical indicators for the Great British Pound and the US dollar, we can see that the MACD is in positive territory, where the signal line is, and the MACD is way above the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. The RSI is bullish, the CCI is above zero, so it's still in bullish territory, and the stochastic here has crossed the signal line in bullish territory, indicating bearish momentum. And here up in the bullish band, we can see that the reason why we basically fell towards the support again is because we got significantly overstretched and uh, we basically needed to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band. So the middle of the bullish band is basically holding and this could be an indication that we could see this basically rally uh, further to the upside. If you consider these technical gears, they basically support that we'll go higher while the stochastic supports that we are basically going lower. So furthermore, we looks like we are going to test this triangle you can write it up somewhere like this we may go and trade in towards this corner and then break to the upside or break to the downside considering that we basically are in a small uptrend here and uh, it L and these technical indicators are favoring the upside it would seem that we are basically going to break towards the upside in this triangle so where we could go, we could basically go and test these previous highs. And as you can see, this is an area that we have tested several times before, all the way back in the beginning of March and, and, uh, and through the March, we basically tested this area and basically broke down. Now we tested it yet again, and we basically are breaking down at 14.00. So if we break above 14.00, then we could go and test these previous highs here at 14.23 and then well beyond that. It looks like that 100 moving average or this area here is significant support and that we are most likely going to see a grind towards the upside. Um, it also depends on the US dollar whether or not that continues to depreciate. Um, so the last two and a half weeks it has been depreciating and that has been favorable to this currency pair. So let's look at the US dollar and the yen. And as you can see, this has basically been falling off a cliff from the highs here and basically all the way to the bottom. That's 3.14%. At this current stage, if you look at all technical indicators, they are very bearish indeed. MACD is in negative territory, seeing it well below the signal line and it's very bearish. The RSI is significantly oversold. It is flat at this current stage. And the CCI is well below minus 100, which is very bearish indeed. The same goes for stochastic. It's in negative territory and has crossed the signal line, but it is considered to be very uh, bearish at this current stage. So we did hit the very bottom of the bullish band on, on Friday's session down here at 107, uh, 483, and then we pulled back. We could see a pullback, but if we do, it will probably won't go farther than towards the 40 exponential up here at 108, 634. So pullbacks, as you can see here, or rallies up towards the 40 and the 20 exponential or the 40 exponential, they will most likely be sold into as we are basically creating a negative, basically a downward trend at this current stage. We'll probably won't find a major resistance until we hit the 100 moving average down here at 106. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. This has been even more bullish in the last week. And as you can see on Friday, we rallied all the way up to 1209. We are getting fairly overstretched, but as you can see in the, in the last few weeks, we have been trading sideways, rallying, trading sideways, rallying, and we're just doing uh, this uh, same movement um, towards the upside. So we were in a significant downtrend for a, a long time until we hit the 300 moving average and then everything turned around. This has also to do with the uh, US dollar depreciating the last um, 
in the two to three weeks. And as you can see, we have been basically rallying the last two to three weeks. So if that were to change, then, uh, then we will most likely sell, uh, see even more selling pressure. So we can also see that we have a crossings of the 40 and the, uh, and the 20 exponential moving average at the 50, and that we are going to see further crossings of these moving averages, indicating bullish momentum. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is above the signal line and uh, in positive territory, it is bullish. We are significantly overbought in the RSI and the CCI is well above 100 in bullish territory. The same goes for the stochastic, it's in bull bullish territory and is basically right on the signal line. But I would not be surprised if we saw a little bit of pullback towards uh, 12, uh, 12 12.00 before going higher from here. There's significant support underneath, and this is a fairly bullish run. So another green candlestick above the 100 moving average, well, that will that will be seen as even more bullish shine that we are ready to go significantly higher. So we'll probably find major resistance here up at 12.17, where we tested it several times in the past, and then around this area here, which is 12.35. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, and as you can see, we have been trading above the 50 and 100 moving average uh, for basically the last week and a half. If you look at the technical condition, we can see the MACD is still in bullish territory and well above the signal line. The RSI is um, bullish at this current stage, and the CCI is underneath 100, but is still above zero, so it's fairly bullish or fairly flat at this current stage. Stochastic is turning around and looks like it's ready to cross the signal line again in the next one or two days. We are basically in the middle of nowhere here in the Bollinger Band, and I would prefer being closer to the, to the middle of the Bollinger Band or the top of the Bollinger Band in order to determine whether or not we are going to rally or whether or not we're going to break down. So we got significantly overstretched here. That's why we had this major fall on Tuesday. And since then, we basically almost hit the middle of the bullish band. But uh, but I think a pullback towards the middle, I give or take 0 0.7680, that could be expected before going higher. Otherwise, we'll just trend sideways and we'll have the bullish band catch up with that sideways momentum. We are clearly... Not clearly, but there is clearly significant support underneath here at the 150, and that is going to travel this way. And we're also having the crossings of these moving averages, which also is significant uh, for this increase. So we'll most likely find major uh, resistance at 0 0.78. And if we manage to get through that hurdle, we'll probably go up to 0 0.80. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And this had a major rally on Tuesday and then absolutely collapsed on Wednesday. And then we continue this downward uh, momentum. So this has been basically trending downwards for the last, basically last year. So we had this really obvious and easy to predict the channel that we were trading in for several months. And then we broke out of that channel and then we created basically another channel that was uh, had basically a, a wider range. So up towards 150 or 150 moving average and, um, and then similar to this. So at this current stage, getting towards the 100 moving average or towards the lower part of this channel, that is basically resistant and support. And it looks like we are just going to continue doing the same thing. And at some point here, we will most likely see this basically break down towards the, the lower part of this channel. Rallies up towards the 100, and 100 moving average or even 150 should be seen at this current stage as a major resistance as we have basically broken down significantly every single time we are basically getting close to those moving averages. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is underneath zero, it's in bearish territory, and we are up underneath the signal line, which is also bearish. So RSI is uh, bearish at this point. We are on the edge of being oversold. CCI is significant bearish or underneath zero, and stochastic is bearish, but we are significantly overstretched here in the Bollinger Band, considering that we are almost oversold 
and we're overstretched here, we could see a pullback or a rally up towards the uh, middle of the Bullinger Band before continuing lower. You can see how often we have basically rallied and broken down and we'll probably see something similar to this uh, in the next few uh, few days or probably in the next few weeks. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button above and see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.